Do I like video games? Do I like video games? I love video games. I live for video games. Video games are my life. In the beginning, it was Pac-Man, Centipede, Asteroids, all the old 80s stuff. But Asteroids, now there's a game that can really show you what life's all about. What happens to a person when they snap? What happens to the mind as it slowly slips from reality? Well, truth is, nobody really knows. In I Dream That Was a Video Game, a narrative poem by Jake Barton, we go on a journey with a young man whose fantasy has become his reality. I Dream That Was a Video Game by Jake Barton. You start in the middle, and you can see everything around you. And all you have to do is just stand your ground. All you have to do is just stay in the middle. The middle is safe. The middle is good. In the middle, you can see any danger coming your way. From every angle, large asteroids are circling you, taunting you, entering your space, invading your space. But you're prepared to stop them. You're prepared to stand your ground. You're prepared to stay in the middle. You're given a weapon. You assume it's a gun, but one really can't be sure. All you know is push a button, and something, something emits from you. Something torpedoes out of you. A trajectory object flies across the screen. And you just hope that your aim is accurate enough. You just hope that your aim destroys those large asteroids. The large asteroids that want to crush you, to destroy you. The large asteroids who don't care who lives or who dies. And then you learn, you don't just have to stay in the middle. You can move, you can get out. You learn you can just push a button and something, something will propel you through the galaxies Something will torpedo you out of your safety zone. And even though you're moving, even though you're mobile, you're still aware you have the ability to push a button. And something will torpedo out of you. A trajectory object will fly across the screen. And you just hope that your aim is accurate enough. You just hope that your aim destroys those large asteroids large asteroids that want to crush you, to destroy you, the large asteroids who don't care who lives or who dies. And when you do hit one of those asteroids, you quickly learn you don't always destroy them. They usually just break apart into smaller, definitely stronger, faster asteroids, just like in real life. I've always had an active imagination. I've always been able to think outside the box. And one day it dawned on me, why do I have to be the one trying to stand my ground? Why do I have to be the one trying to stay in the middle? Why do I have to run? So I became the asteroid. I became the one who crushes. I became the one who destroys. I became the one who doesn't care who lives or who dies. As an asteroid, every time I'm fired upon, I pretend it doesn't break me. I pretend it doesn't crush me. I will not let anything destroy me. watch as little by little the others chip away at me with their words take things from me with their actions from every angle the others keep circling me taunting me entering my space invading my space but this time this time 
I'm prepared to stop them. This time, I'm prepared to defend my ground. This time, I'm prepared to stay in the middle. I have a weapon. It's a gun. And all I know is push a button and a trajectory object will fly across the screen. And I just hope that my aim is accurate enough. I just hope that my aim destroys those large asteroids. The large asteroids that want to crush me. To destroy me. The large asteroids who don't care if I live or if I die. I black out. I don't remember anything. But I do know that I dreamed I was a video game. Does that make me crazy? I dreamed that I was a video game. The others, they just kept pushing my buttons, taunting me, pushing my buttons, entering my space, pushing my buttons, invading my space, pushing my buttons. And this time, I stopped them. This time, I defended my ground. This time, I stayed in the middle. All I remember is, after the incident, I moved. I got out. And when you found me, I knew it was game over. So here I am, sitting at this table, bright lights blinding me, pushing my buttons, taunting me, Pushing my buttons, entering my space, pushing my buttons, invading my space, pushing my buttons. And it's game over for me. So do I like video games? I love video games. I live for video games. Video games are my life. Does that answer your question? <laughs>